Chicago in general. That region, they all have really great trash talking, uh, but are also just sweethearts, you know, yeah. when it actually comes down to it. I've also experienced that firsthand and had to go trash talk for trash talk against Chicago back in the Smash 4 days. <laughs> and I love telling you that story off camera. <laughs> well, I was so valid and so right, and I won. But anyway, let's go. getting into this match. So, uh, Greninja versus Ness. We're seeing a lot of Greninja here. I don't know what the theme for the weekend is, but uh, this is definitely another battle where air-to-air -air spacing is going to be absolutely crucial for both of them. Because they yeah. both kind of want to cover the same threat ranges. Uh, great recovery from G. That Hydro Pump definitely could have been the stock if Ice Knight had responded just a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now we have ourselves a pretty even game. Yeah, I mean, both of these are actually repeat characters to the stream and not even from the same players. Uh, like earlier we had Spectre, that Ness that just kind of ran a show um, earlier on. And now we have Ice Knight obviously running through Ninja. And we had Watermaster before too, so just mm -hmm. a lot of characters populating this bracket. Yeah, we, we got we got a lot of like Ness and Greninja happening here, but uh, so far G is fighting really really well with his top seed of the bracket. Yeah. I'm not sure if Ice Knight maybe is just trying to like focus and just kind of figure out a game plan. A lot of top players do that. Yeah. Uh, I think Mars had a video about it where he's like, they don't start off just trying to go crazy aggressive. They play kind of slow and try to see how you respond to certain situations. Then they put their foot on the gas and then they start ramping up. That's like a common top player trait. So maybe we're seeing that, but either way, that forward air from center stage, uh, gonna give Ice Knight a small lead here with that first stock, but at 123%, Greninja's not that heavy, so gotta be really careful from here on. Yeah, that forward air felt like it kinda opened the floodgates here, and now the set will actually begin as both players were, like you said, in that feeling out phase, trying to see who could get that first stock, and now Ice Knight has kinda found the game plan. I got the lead and I'm going to run away with it. Mm -hmm. I think the way that like G is just going for those short hop fares, mm -hmm. uh, Water Shuriken, which is normally a pretty big factor in like stuffing your approaches, uh, he's kind of always just off the ground, so that the ground at Water Shuriken isn't a threat. And if Ice Knight wanted to commit, he'd have to do like short hop Water Shuriken, which doesn't like whoo, set him up for as much success. But speaking of success, that up smash is gonna easily cover that Hydro Pump recovery, and uh, G's gonna keep this close. Yes, indeed. And playing it close right now is Ice Knight. Gets a nice little conversion to put G off stage, but uh, I know that's a scary scenario because Greninja's aerials are actually really nice at juggling and keeping Ness off stage. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of options here, especially at oh. those kind of like mid percents. You know, Water Shuriken can stake a jump. Hydro Pump can just completely kill him out of PK Thunder. So there's a lot of potential here, but again, Ice Knight just kind of playing it slow, trying to find those fallen neutral airs. And uh, G is just playing a really solid defensive game. This is the same thing we saw with Paper. He's not going in. He's just making a wall of hitboxes and just waiting for someone to just make the mistake and run into them. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, my gosh. This is a very meticulous game. As both players... Well, G is like using these aerials to kind of stuff out any Ice Knight approaches while Ice Knight is just trying to pick the perfect moment as we see that up smash actually connecting and putting a stock lead back in Ice Knight's favor. Yeah, and that was definitely like a big momentum swing for Ice Knight too because that up smash certainly could have worked out, but just being able to not only clank with a move that could have killed him but get the stock forward is crazy. And as soon as I thought it was going to happen, all that momentum slid into Ice Knight's favor. G probably a little bit frustrated. You can see it in the player cam about the up smash and Ice Knight taking that brief moment of hesitation and getting 95% as his reward. Yeah, this is why I was talking about side that second stock theorem. It just all kind of snowballed after that second stock was cleaned up with that up smash. And now we have Ice Knight up the whole game. I just want to say uh, to whoever's watching, mm -hmm. I read that set so far in the future. I said it's going to start <laughs> slow. Yep. He's going to figure out how he panics. Yep. And then he's going to go in. And then we just saw three minutes of Psy being right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, honestly, if you're keeping a tally at home, that's at least one point in size. Yes, if you're <laughs> scoreboard, one for Psy. <laughs> scoreboard, scoreboard. Yeah, he he literally, like, because that was such a sketchy. I don't even think G was wrong to put that up smash there. Like, I think it was a good call out, but just the timing of the neutral air just kind of, like, played him a little bit. And then Ice Knight was like, oh, I barely survived, and you're probably a little mad. Because you saw him, like, reel back. He was yeah. like, oh, cool. Time to, like, really rush you down. Yes, yes. Not only found the opening in game, but out of game. It's very, it's very a mark of a good player to be able to call those out. But I will still say I like G's sweater a lot. So part of me still pulling for you just for that. Yes. Oh, indeed. but this is gonna be a rough angle. Hydro pump gonna yeah. stuff that out, and unfortunately gonna get zero death in the first 15 seconds of game two. Ice Knight still riding all that momentum from what we just saw. Yeah, and not just the momentum, but actually 
probably just has found out the the weaknesses in G's game plan and starting to exploit them super hard here. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so I like the combo we saw earlier with like the drag down up airs and the up tilt extensions. Um, he was really just covering that vertical range from Ness just so well, which Greninja's good at, but typically you see other characters shine harder. Yeah. But none of that matters because these combos are looking crazy, finding that down smash, and G, once again, forced to recover, barely making it with that air dodge, but Ice Knight is just on his head right now. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine playing against Ice Knight when that first game felt so close. Uh, if you're in G's shoes, and then all of a sudden, game two, Ice Knight has the perfect precision on all these combos, and it starts to string you up for 70, 80, or take stocks uh, after connecting with one good neutral one. Yeah, I like the way he's positioning himself, too. He's like, okay, cool. I think I figured out your game plan. You're going to throw out a lot of these aerials like while I'm not around mm -hmm. to like discourage me from approaching. But instead of running into them, he's just going near him, letting him whiff an aerial, and then getting whiff punishes. And that's where all this damage is coming from. Oh my Ooh. God! <laughs> it, it, it's just it's such a unique sound effect too. Like Ness's bat mm -hmm. gets me on my toes every time. The Louisville Slugger. Yeah. Great Ooh. tech from Ice Knight. And Sick we, recovery. We're so bad. We, we are so bad. <laughs> we're for so Ice bad. Fans. And again, you can see G just really gets head. He's like, "What is it gonna take to take this stop? <laughs> <laughs> what I gotta do, man? Yes. Damn, I'd hit you with yo-yo so many times. But he finally know. finds something with that back air. Yeah. It yeah. gets a point on the board. Uh, but it may be a short-lived victory here as Ice Knight has an edgeguard scenario, even gets a two-frame. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, wait, we're still living. Salute to the USA, calling out the America Air Dodge. Hey, yo! <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Said, racing to the blast zone. See you there. <laughs> I love the game it was like, oh, you thought you was him? No, no, we're not no. doing that. But it still effectively worked, even yeah. if he didn't get the uh, the kill screen that he wanted. Was able to just still stuff out that recovery either way. Yeah, that was crazy. If you are unaware, whenever Ness hits like a tangible object with his up B, um, it halves the distance effectively, and that just causes Ness to kind of plummet like a rock here. As you can see, hits the substitute, and mm -hmm. uh, let me pause that's it right current. here. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> it went so fast. It was like two frames. You're on screen, right and then you're off. All right. Yeah, you see? He fully, like, substitution jutsu. He hit the little plushie. That is not him. Greninja is like... There you go. You got it. <laughs> Question mark? Where am I going? Where are my Uber driver taking which is, me? Which is, like, crazy because we saw the outcome. Ice Knight most definitely could have went up instead of down. <laughs> yeah, definitely could have. But I love the decision making either way. Yes, I love it. I, I love a good, I love a good, uh, crazy moment. <laughs> LOL, <laughs> indeed. LOL, indeed. <laughs> uh, oh. But yeah, really good stuff from Ice Knight. There was definitely, okay, we're talking about theories, right? Yes. Sometimes top players just kind of have plot armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You see it uh, in the FGC, it's called the Wong effect, where it's like Justin Wong is definitely about to lose, and then like the worst program <laughs> interaction you've ever seen in your life happens, and it's in Justin's favor, and he's just like, oh, tight. Uh, which is crazy, it's the most viral clip of him is of course the Daigo parry, mm -hmm. but if you watch any like Justin Wong Marvel, it's just like, that should have hit you and now you won, it doesn't make any sense. It, we like saw a little bit of that from Ice, Ice Knight though. I almost called him Ice Spice, that is not who that is. <laughs> Oh no! You thought I was edge guarding you? Like, <laughs> 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 edge guarding you is crazy. 